Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Anadee's AI Crystal Tempered Glass Case. Now this case features two tempered glass pieces on each side and also a front piece that's also made of glass. First time I've seen this on a glass case. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump into the review, I'm going to show you an overview of the full case, I'm going to build my own personal rig into the case, and then, yeah, just going to share my final kind of thoughts, and um, yeah, I'm going to tell you if I recommend the case to you or not. So yeah, without further ado, let's kind of jump into it. So yes, that has an exterior look at the case. The case comes in at 49.7cm in height, 47.5cm in depth, with the width being 21.6cm. The weight is over 10kg, which is the weight of many fully assembled gaming rigs, so not exactly light. One main selling point of this case is the fact it features very solid glass side panels and a front glass panel also. These are made of 5mm tinted tempered glass. So moving on to an overview, the front features three white LED 140mm fans which sit behind the front glass panel, of which all are filtered using a magnetic meshed filter that can be removed and cleaned of dust very easily by pulling off the front piece. The front doesn't allow for optical disk drives to be installed, however, I can't say I've used a fixed disk drive for over three years, so it doesn't really bother me. The top features the I.O. featuring two USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, standard HDO connections and a power and reset button, as well as a 3-speed fan controller providing 12, 5 or 0 volts to the fans. The power button features a white LED to match the included fans. Further back we found another removable magnetic meshed filter providing dust filtering for any fans you choose to mount up here. Maximum support is two 140mm fans or three 120mm fans. I'll cover radiator support nearer the end. As for the left side, the case features a beautiful smoke glass panel which screws on with four dark metal thumb screws. Under these thumb screws are rubber washers to prevent damage to the glass. The first thing you'll notice is that this case has no drive cage present at the front and the Entity's logo is printed on a power supply and hard drive cavity cover. This logo has a mirror effect and shines in light pretty well. The case supports up to extended ATX boards supporting mini, micro and full size ATX also, so it's definitely a large case with 7 expansion slots total. The rear also features an additional 140mm LED fan to match the others included in the front. Two noticeable features of this case are the power supply and hard drive cardi cover around here is support for long power supplies and up to three mechanical hard drives or SSDs. In addition to this, the motherboard tray at the back also features three dedicated metal brackets for SSDs to be installed. Around back there also seems to be quite a bit of room for cable management for power and data cables from components, including many metal hooks acting as tie down points and places to tie cables together. Mentioning tying things together, included in the accessory box is 10 black cable ties, in addition to many labelled bags of different screws and some additional standoffs. As for the manual provided in this box, it's not bad, but just like the manual for the Entity's AI7, it's incredibly short and doesn't really explain a lot. I found it only goes over a very basic installation of many main components. I would really like to see Entity's really improve their user manuals, covering a lot more in terms of how one would go about building a PC inside their computer cases. The cases are cut out to make installing aftermarket coolers easy. Unlike the Entity's AI7 I took a look at a few weeks ago, this cutout seems to be a lot larger and in the right place to support many large heatsinks. As we look at the bottom of the case, it features another removable dust filter. This one slides out from the back of the case, very nice to see. Back to the front, talking about many components, as for clearances for many main components, it looks like you've got 17.5cm for CPU cooler clearance and 41cm for graphic card length. Lastly, back to the water cooling radiators, you have many options that make this case extremely water cooling friendly. At the front you can install a 360mm rad with room for both a 240 or 260mm rad with a 140mm fan under for air intake. As for the top, this supports up to a 360mm rad, and as for the back, this supports up to a 140mm rad. As for moving the 4790K test system into this case, it was a breeze and this case looks to be very well designed, and building sure is easy. The inclusion of an integrated fan controller and the fact that this case comes with four 140mm fans is fantastic, no pun intended. Support for 41cm graphic cards is great and 17.5cm CPU cooler clearance is, well, not bad either. These features all make this case hard not to recommend for the impressive price that it's currently offered at. And now, let's roll the outro. So peeps, that was my review of the AI Crystal from Anadies. Overall, I think it's a pretty damn good case. Now, two things that I would want to see improved in the future, maybe a future revision of this case, or maybe some, or maybe some changes I can do in manufacturing. First up, that piece actually covers up the cables. I would really like to see that being metal, so it actually does match with the rest of, of the actual case. Um, it, even though it is black, it does look a, a little bit out of place, because it's, a, you know, because it's plastic, it's just a different colour on it. 
to me it just it just annoys me second of all the manual as again with the ai7 manual the manual for this is really really slim there's like it's just an a4 sheet two sides just showing you how to screw things in it's not really a manual it's kind of like a really quick guide on and how to really put your components in and i would, would really want to see that improved for many many cases that anides do say manufacture it in the future but that's what all the positive things the case itself looks really really good it's just a beautiful design the antenna layout is fantastic and i think the fact that you can install three hard drives and three ssds is just really really good graphic card length is 41 centimeters again that's just brilliant you can put anything in this case and just overall the, the fact you get four 140 millimeter fans is really really good as well but yeah overall fantastic case and i would recommend it for the price that it's currently offered at because, uh, because when you do consider the competition say inwin and um, some glass cases that uh, thermal take also um, manufacturer this case is really cheap compared to them, and it's a, it, it, it is built very, very well. And, and as I mentioned, it just just it just does look fantastic. So yeah, there we are. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.